actually I uh, he was in San Diego at like a I think it was like a weekend kind of youth rally at this uh, at this church and he was um, he was he was one of the speakers and I was invited to come hang out and talk to I think there was like it's almost like a what do they call it? like a not classes but certain topics and stuff and being that I'm in a rock band and being in the world and so they asked me to come speak and so I got to share some stories and he was also there and then that's the first time you see but this is this is what's crazy is that because I'm I'm more in tune of what's going on again in the secular I didn't even know who Lecrae was you know what I mean because I'm not I'm not stuck in like a certain genre like oh dude I, I just need I only know what's up with Christian hip-hop and I got a chance to meet him, and 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 he he shared, and I got a chance to. I'm like, I I love this dude's heart, man. This is awesome. Met his wife's kids, hung out in the green room, just got a chance to chop it up, share my heart. He's asking me about, dude. So what's it like, you know, touring like this and doing this? And and at that time, he was still more, again, you know, more on the Christian side. Now, why? Because he's dope. He's broken through those walls. I mean, obviously, it's it's taken that Christian charge to get to get through that. But he's dope regardless whether you're a Christian or not. And but me meeting him on a, on just a, on a brother tip was like this dude's dope. And to exchange numbers and 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 he said, man, I'm doing a record, dude. I'd love you to, to spit on it. And I was like, bro, that's what's up. Because I like because I liked him as a person, and we've already built that relationship. And then and then when I heard the track, I'm like, I like this. And even listening to it. It wasn't, I would have never taken that song and said, this is a Jesus track. This is just a dope, this is a dope song. And knowing his heart, knowing that he's trying to reach the world, it's like, dude, I, we're on the same wavelength, you know? That's sick, let me have it. Went in the studio, laid it down, sent it to the homies, you know? Um, Benja did some of the, the, the hooks and, and the other homie, and it was, it was a cool track. And now he's blowing up. I mean, but he's blowing up. And I, I don't say this disrespectfully when I say real world, I, but he is. He's on Hot 97. He's he's going in freestyle on real MCs, New York style radio stations, morning shows, and these dudes that aren't Christians are like, dude, man, I'm not, homie, I'm not even a Christian, but dude, you, I love what you're saying, man. I love your lyrics, dude. Some, dude, Google some of the stuff that Lecrae's doing. It's like, that's what P.O.D.'s been doing. You know what I mean? Where we meet people all the time, like, bro, I'm not even Christian, man, but. Man, I love the energy, man. You guys are some of the coolest dudes. Find one rock and roll band out there that don't love P.O.D. Because we're, we're real, dude. Because we love you. Ain't nobody got beef with us. You know the funny I mean? thing, and if they don't like it, <laughs> it's because of what they have this misconception yeah. ahead of who they think we are or who they think we represent. Yeah. I'm not talk even talking like about the music. music. I'm talking about a friendship. Yeah, everybody loves us. Yeah, you just got to remember, dude, like they... They automatically think because they were brought up in a in church a or their dad was a pastor and they got a bad taste in their mouths and then they think, oh, here comes P.O.D. Because that was, we may, maybe we were the only band that they're, I've heard this a lot, we're the All only the band that, that we were, they were allowed parents, to listen to. Let them listen to, if they did. <laughs> and to me, I'm like, dang, it's I didn't never wanted to be that because I used to be DC Talk. And but it's either two stories, like you're the, you're you know the, what I mean? you're the only the, group. We're my, the edgiest my, version of it. You're the only group my parents let me used to or... I showed my parents your guys' tape because I knew you were Christians and they told me you guys were of the devil. Yeah. So it's the it's that it's like wow. There's websites up about us. <laughs> yeah, it's like come from on, like dude. really hardcore like Oh man. Like I don't know what to call it, dude. Yeah. Cult style like Christianity it's, where they're like We can't do bro, I, this is what I've told people I said, they how do you how do you explain it to them all? I ain't that smart, man. I, I really I have I I can never you know, they they've they've saw a little symbols on every everything they've i've done i've done moves in slow motion that they've said is of some demon and it's like bro I, go water your flowers man love your kids you know what i mean like go dude and it, it's not that I mean, <laughs> it's, it's not that not deep, deep man. man i'm not that smart i could have never figured that out like, and if they, I didn't have to, they didn't have to move like that on purpose <laughs> We've got like I mean for everything just because we know somebody or or we've taken a picture with somebody and then that guy Back in his day he did something that it's like they'll stay they really search you out to just hang you to dry and it's like Man, I could have just but that's human nature. That's, that's how they crucified Christ. That's it man. They Dude. needed to find someone I'm afraid You know because he was different. He wasn't religious man. You know what I mean? We're not we're not religious just and loving people. People want to sometimes crucify our band, which is fine. I mean, 
you know but when you do talk to that person not one person many cases dude i i came to the lord because you guys man hey dude, i listened to this i used to get high to this song for 10 years and one day it just hit me and i gave my life to the lord or i was gonna kill myself and i heard this song i've been in you guys ever since and dude i respect what you do it's like those are the people we want to touch and if it's one at a time you know i've always said i'd rather plant millions of seeds and let the real christians come and harvest it if that's what you think then you know want to take the credit for you know bringing in that one like that's up to god god gives the credit regardless but back to lecrae he's awesome love that <laughs> love that dude and dude he's doing his thing man so we're a know. fan of we're fans of art we're yeah. fans of music regardless of what it you know a lot of times what they're saying yeah. i mean as i've gotten older for example watching a horror movie i i love horror movies but there's some now that come out i'm like <laughs> Am I getting too old? Because I'm at the movie theater and I feel like I need to get up and walk out. It's the same with music. Sometimes I'm hearing something like, this is, music's dope, but then I'm listening, this is garbage. Like, it's negative in, negative out. So I'm like, you know what? If we're doing our, if we're doing our little speck of positivity, you know, then cool. That little bit of light goes a long way in the darkness. That's man. right, man. For sure. So, and I'm out. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs>